Hi there, everyone. I'm Sebastian, and today we're going to be talking about Black History Month. Since it's February, I hope that you're all celebrating Black History Month in your home. But today we're going to be looking at exactly why February is called Black History Month. We'll begin in 1915 when historian Carter G. Woodson and minister Jesse Moreland founded the Association for the Study of African American Life and History. The purpose for this organization was to help promote the success and achievements of individuals of African descent, a group which has been oppressed for centuries. Now, the reason for selecting the second week of February as Black History Week is that during this week, um, there was also the birthday of President, former President Abraham Lincoln, a white man who wrote the Emancipation Proclamation in 1863, and abolitionist Frederick Douglass, an African-American scholar and advocate for the emancipation of enslaved Africans, or the freeing of enslaved peoples of African descent. Now, many cities across the United States began recognizing this week as Black History Week. It was an important time to acknowledge the significant contributions that this community has made to the development of the United States. In the 1960s, the civil rights movement led by Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. led to the growth of this week into a month long celebration. Finally, in 1976, President Gerald Ford recognized Black History Month as a national event. Now with Black History Month, there comes a theme and this year's theme for the year of 2021 um, the theme is the Black family, representation, identity, and diversity. This theme will address the diversity of families composed of people of African descent. It will take a look at an aspect of African American society, the family that has often been stereotyped and attacked. The Association for the Study of African American Life and History describes that the theme of the family doesn't only address the individual African-American families, but Africa and the diaspora itself, which has been portrayed as the black family at large. This February, I hope that you have the opportunity to learn about our black leaders who have contributed since the founding of our nation to the privileges and rights that we share today. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your February and that you continue to celebrate Black History Month. Thank you very much.